Hey everyone, it's Nadine, your gal about town. I am going to take a walk here at Westville. Um, I'm going to take pictures of the area. I think most people are familiar with Westville Recreation Area, but maybe some people are not. So I'm not going to um, I'm not going to film myself walking this whole loop because I'm going to be out of breath in about two seconds because I'm so out of shape. <laughs> not afraid to admit it. The good news is that I'm attempting to get exercise. So that's the good part. Um, but anyways, I'll take pictures along the route and um, you know, check in and show you some of the scenery and see if we can find something interesting. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so here is the little area where they have picnic tables set up. Um, there's down this way, there are little, um, like, what am I trying to say? Like little built in grills. So if you bring some charcoal and bring some lighter fluid and matches, <laughs> you can actually, uh, you can bring food and grill here and have an awesome picnic. Um, I mean, there's not really much to say. It's, this is Westville Dam Recreation Area. It's so pretty here, I love it. It's peaceful. So down here is where there are a whole bunch more picnic tables. There's a building up here too. Oops, so that's like a covered, um, like a little covered patio. There's several picnic tables up there. Oops, sorry. All right, so yeah, let me show you. So it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I don't know, it looks like there are about 15 of these, sorry, 15 of these picnic tables um, that I can see all down here, all in this area. Oops. They go all the way back. And then there's these little grills. Of course, this one's going to have trash in it, right? Of course it is. Um, but that's kind of cool. So, like, this is a great place if you just want to get the family together. Maybe, you know, you want to have a great family gathering, but your backyard isn't big enough, or you don't have a backyard, or whatever. Whatever the reason you can't have a, a get-together with a cookout in your backyard, you could always come here. Um out here have all your friends this is nice too because in this area it's pretty much shaded oops oh my god sorry you guys almost just saw me well you wouldn't have seen me because I'm facing the other way I almost just fell because I'm not paying attention and I tripped on a stick <laughs> so if you're coming here be careful and don't trip on sticks anyways what I was saying was it's nice because in this area it's fairly shaded because there are so many trees surrounding the whole this whole section on both sides so it's a great place to come and just kind of chill and relax, have a burger, a hot dog, whatever it is you feel like having. Of course, now I'm thinking about it. I don't know if there's, I want to get back up on the trail. I don't know if there's a way to get back up on the trail from here. <laughs> See, this is the beauty of these videos that I do, guys. I mean, not only like when I do interviews, are they unscripted, but when I randomly, I'm like, hey, I think I'll go walk at Westville. I think I'll do a video. This is also not scripted. <laughs> I have no clue um, really what's going to happen. So, isn't it beautiful though? I love it here. I almost wish I, oh, I was going to say, I wish I had a book with me. I would just sit and read for a while. I do have my phone with me and I do have the Kindle app on my phone. So, I mean, technically, if I wanted to, I could sit and read my Kindle. But my purpose was to come and get exercise. So that's what I really need to do. Oh, there's even a bubbler here. I don't know if it works. Let's find out. Let's find out together if the water flows in the bubbler. I'll be darned it does. Okay, well, I'm not going to drink it because <laughs> I don't know. All right, so I'm heading back up on the trail. So now I'm just going to go uh, walk some more and I will give you some more glimpses. You can see in the background here. Let me zoom in. There's some water. 
So uh, when I get closer, I'll, I'll start over and um, pick up from where we left off and show you some more goodies. All right. All right, guys, here's a, a good view of the water. Um, so I'm still up on the trail. But as you can see, this is where we're getting to the Westville Lake area. Um, I'm assuming they're calling this a lake. It's bigger than a pond. But anyways, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you the water. As we walk along the trail, quite a few people out today too. The weather's beautiful for it, so why not? Hello. The water stretches out way far ahead of us. This is the trail we're walking. This trail actually um, goes all the way around the entire lake. I don't remember. I used to know how long this trail was. I want to say it's like a mile to a mile and a half maybe. I can't remember for sure. In any case, it doesn't matter. It's just a really good, it's a really good trail. It's a good place to walk. Look how pretty this is. Alright, I gotta stop and take some pictures. So the other cool thing about this area is that if you are looking for some kind of a little fun, nature-y, crafty activity to do with the kids, there are a ton of pine cones on the ground here. So bring the kids, bring a couple of bags, uh, pick up a bunch of pine, pine, pine cones, not kind cones. <laughs> pick up, pick up pine cones. <laughs> it's like a tongue twister. Um, but you could pick up pine cones and then go home and do a fun little activity with the kids. You could paint them or do whatever, whatever you want to do. You could make like the little bird feeders. I remember when we were kids, I think we would put like, what, peanut butter maybe? And then stick bird seed to it? I can't remember. But anyways, totally can look that up on Pinterest. So that's another fun, uh, another fun thing you can do. And then now we're coming up on the actual dam. I'm not swearing, I'm saying what it is. <laughs> uh, unlike the other day when I accidentally did swear when I went live. <laughs> so, uh, so here we are at the, the dam area. And as I get closer, when I get up on the top of the the street up there the, on the top of that hill. I'll take pictures looking down over the water because it's so beautiful from up there. Here's a little sneak peek. See, people say there's nothing nice in Southbridge. Look at how beautiful this is. Look at the sky. Look at the clouds. So another cool thing to point out is that there are benches along the path too. So if you're out of shape like I am <laughs> and you're like, oh crap, I really can't do this, there's places where you can stop along the way. So that's cool. Um, there's also these cool little informational signs along the path too. Um, this shows the construction of the dam. Um, it says, let me do this. The dam at Westville Lake is situated on the Quinnebog River, approximately seven miles downstream from Old Sturbridge Village. This facility is part of a network of six dams constructed and maintained by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to relieve the effects of flooding along the major rivers of the Thames River Basin. Huh. The Corps controls the flow of the Quinnebog River through the Westville Lake Dam by raising and lowering three four by six foot electrically operated steel gates. During flood conditions, these gates can be lowered to hold back up to 3.61 billion gallons of water behind the dam until it can be safely released downstream. So there you go. Some informational uh, information <laughs> about the dam. Oh, you guys, for anybody, I feel bad. Like anybody, if this is the first video of mine you've ever watched, I feel sorry because you haven't gotten used to the fact that I just say whatever's on my mind and most of the time I don't know what's on my mind <laughs> so anywho 
And look at how cute this little tiny, like, little waterfall stream is. How pretty. And then over here on the other side, um, there's also some really big rocks. So if you wanted to pop a squat, as they say, there's a few more big rocks here. There's another bench. So this is nice. Um, you can sit here and just kind of look out at the water. There's actually a really nice breeze here right now. It feels so good. So when it starts to get really warm out and you're walking, this is the area that I dread the most because now we're cutting across like what I call the top part. I don't know, I guess it depends on where you start, but I start down there, so I call this the top part. Well, once you get here, as you can see, this is wide open space. So when it's hot and sunny, the sun is like beating down on you as you're going up this incline. Um, to, uh, to get to the other side. But there's a dam. Well, I'm gonna try to zoom in. Can you guys see this? Right now there's a lot of water flowing because it had rained so much. So you can actually see that back there, there is kind of a cool little waterfall going on. Usually the water's, I mean, fairly still. There's not usually a whole lot of it. But between all the snow we got in the past few weeks and the rain, I guess it made for a, a lovely little waterfall. All right, I am not gonna record me panting up this hill. I'll be back. Okay, so now we're coming down the other side. I survived <laughs> that little steep hill. Actually, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I haven't exercised in way too long. Um, plus, the biggest, the biggest problem I have is my allergies right now because I'm allergic, <laughs> allergic to spring, pretty much. Um, I have to take a Zyrtec every single day, but even with the Zyrtec this time of year when everything finally starts budding, uh, my allergies just are bad, so that makes it a little more difficult to breathe. But uh, besides that, it really wasn't too bad. I really thought I would be way more out of breath from walking up that hill. All right, so anyways, um, so now I'm on the other side. So when I come into Westville, um, I come in from like uh, South Street and then I pull into like the main entrance where the parking lot is and I immediately go up that, uh, like if you're looking on your left hand side, it's that's where I start the big trail. And I go up, so I go up the left side, up to the dam area, and then come back down what I call the right side because of where I start. And so now I'm coming around the back side of the loop. And that means I'm halfway there, so that's not too bad. I'm not even panting and out of breath. <laughs> All right, so um, I don't think you guys want to hear me sniffling because of my allergies. And as we all know, I'm really just rambling. I have nothing of major importance to contribute to this conversation. <laughs> but apparently I enjoy talking. So, um, yeah. All right. Uh, stay tuned for more. All right. So here we have another little informative sign. This is the selective mowing area. So this right here... <laughs> This selective mowing area was established by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to encourage the growth of wildflowers and plants to provide food and shelter for many birds, insects, and mammals in the area. The birds shown above are native to the region and live in this area. Birds like the osprey and great blue heron can be seen hunting on fish stocked annually by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Fisheries Division. So here are the birds.
All right. So, a little bit of information more. And we're just continuing on down the path. So now we're coming up upon one of my favorite parts of this walk, and I don't know why. I love this so much, <laughs> but there's just really cool bridge up here. And I don't know, I just love this bridge. So I thought that I would share this little section with you. All right, it reminds me of uh, Three Billy Goats Gruff. <laughs> So here we are, and I imagine there's a troll living under the bridge, and as I get ready to go across, he's under there, and he's saying, who's that crossing over my bridge? And I say, it is just I, the littlest of the Billy Goat Gruffs, <laughs> and then that's it. Uh, anywho, so yes, I'm, as you can tell, Having a little bit of difficulty now breathing. The, the hill back there was a little steep and uh, my allergies, my eyes are watering. <laughs> my nose is running, but I don't care because it's a beautiful day out. Couldn't ask for better weather. All right. So now we're heading down the last, uh, I guess about a quarter. Yeah, this is probably the last quarter of the loop. And uh, I don't really think there's much else to show you from this point, so I'll stop recording and stop huffing and uh, check in when I finish up. Hey everyone, okay, so it's your gal about town. I made it back to my car. Um, <coughs> I was thinking I should have looked to see what time I started this to see how long it took me, but then I thought, you know what, it doesn't matter if, um, if I don't want any, I don't want anyone to feel like I'm trying to say like, well, I did it in, you know, whatever, however many minutes, you know, you should be able to do that because everyone's at a different fitness level. Um, <coughs> my allergies will kick my butt some days. Um, so it doesn't matter how quickly I finished it. The point is I decided today was the day I was going to start exercising and getting back in shape. And I did make it all the way around the loop, uh, which is fabulous. If I hadn't, if I had to stop halfway and just walk back, well, that still would have been a complete, <laughs> let's say I stopped 10 feet up and came back. That's fine too. So my point is, if you're somebody who doesn't regularly exercise, um, but wants to exercise and doesn't really know where to start and can't afford to go to a gym, I know I can't afford a gym membership and I don't want to pay for something I, I can do without paying and you can exercise without having a gym membership, then come and try the loop. Um, like I said, even if you just take a few steps, whatever man whatever you can do every day to get a little further so there also are for those who care to try I am NOT one of them but I should have pointed out when you get to <coughs> the area where the dam is there's a huge like I think it's like three like a three flight of stairs like three flights of stairs you know one big long flight but I think it equals three flights so if you're somebody who has any interest in doing a bunch of stairs like I said I'm not one of those people but some people love stairs more power to you um, but you can do stairs here as well. Um, and then even if you don't want to do the loop and you just want to like, just take a walk around the, the open area just to see what's here, that's exercise too. So I encourage everyone to come take advantage of this beautiful area. Come have a picnic with family or friends. Um, you know, walk the loop or walk the trail that heads towards Sturbridge. Just come enjoy um, the scenery and have a good time with it, right? Life's too short, man all about having a good time and just loving life so anyways um, that's it for my tour of the Westville Dam recreation area I am going to now go home and throw myself under a bottle of water <laughs> and uh, and relax and uh, post this video for you all to see so as always thank you so much for watching um, I want to give a huge shout out to everybody who has liked my page because I now have I believe when I checked earlier, I think it was 211 page likes, and that is super awesome. Um, like I said before, I did this on a whim just to see if anybody would be interested, and uh, so it's great to see so many people following my page, and I promise I will be getting to the businesses I haven't gotten to yet, and also, uh, you know, if you want me to come talk to you, give me a shout out. I work Monday through Friday uh, during the day. And I do have other commitments sometimes after work and sometimes on the weekends. But if I'm free, I'd be more than happy to set a time to come see you and, and chat about what you have going on. 
All right, guys. Uh, I need to open the window and let some fresh air in because I was sweating up a storm. Have a great uh, day, and I will talk to you all again soon. Bye. Thank you.